Hello guys, it's Miglov back again here with another video. Today I'm in the Moonlight Village and I'm going to look over the items that got released with this uh, testing patch note. And I'm doing the hard mode here somewhat. I don't know, I accessed it in the beginning and I think I'll die here. So yeah, I'll take a look on the items very soon. There we go. The Moonlight Village is pretty hard, but I think it's pretty fun. Uh, I've done uh, one so far and you can see the video that I posted yesterday for the full run But now we are taking a look on the specific items that got released uh, on the testing session with the Moonlight Village We have a lot of different items here. We have let's start from the robe here So we have the flowering kimono. We have the ether ethereal happy sages wakabiki rainmaker fortitude Viger, mischief uh Taiko drums, elegant parasol, and those are the items that got released. And uh, I'm gonna be excited to take a look on the drums, and I know that the dagger is pretty OP. 4,000 gold giveaway down in the description, so watch that video after you've seen this video, and let's jump straight into checking out the items. So, the first item on the list, let's take the robe and the staff at the same time, and let's take a look on the flowering kimono. Flowering Kimono, on ability use, 40 MP cost to summon a controllable friendly spirit, which heals allies. The spirit synergizes in presence of other spirits. I think this description is a little bit vague, and the other armors also spawns spirits, and I'm not sure how they synergizes. It's uh, pretty weird, but the cooldown is 6 seconds, and on equip you get 120 uh, max MP, which is a lot. Plus 10 defense, uh, not that much, but 7 speed is really nice for the staff classes and plus 12 wisdom. So, let's see. Uh, this costs 120, so it should be 160 uh, MP going away. And I think that was 160. Uh, no, it wasn't. SMH. Okay, we spawned the spirit here. Oh yeah. So it, it's like a summon, so you can control this with your uh, control, like the button where you control um, stuff with, and that's pretty nice actually. Having this on a robe, giving you healing effect is pretty alright. Uh, and in some situations where you don't have a priest, for example, is uh, this is a much more viable option. Uh, even though you are on the low side on the defense and no HP, the healing effect can actually be pretty useful. Now, taking a look on the Vigor, uh, on shoot there's a 7.5% chance to release a festival spirit, consuming 20 MP. Lifetime 6 seconds, 600 damage over 6 seconds, explodes after 6 seconds, dealing 150 to 200 damage, scaling with your attack and status effect. So, it's a 7.5% chance to spawn a spirit, you can see them here, and they do damage. So you can have, it looks to be that you can have a lot of them spawn at the same time. You can see that they do uh, quite a lot of damage actually around this staff. The staff damage is 50 to 70 and the spirit staff from Magic Woods is 35 to 70. So they've upped the damage cap a little bit so it's uh, a little bit more stable. So I think this could be a viable option it, and it is 8% uh, fame bonus which is really nice as well. And uh, this might be actually one of the new best staffs in the game. I know that there isn't that many good staffs in the game UT staffs wise and this maybe might be a new contender for being a really good staff because when I spawn a lot of spirits you can see that I do a lot of damage around me. Taking a look on the hide armor and the dagger now and this is an upgraded spirit dagger so it does 20 to 300 damage it shoots multiple bullets and you can see there's a lot of stuff happening and the bullets or the main bullet I think ignores defense on target or no all the other bullets around uh, the uh, main bullet uh, ignores target and it shoots like this So it's like spirits going around in an eight. It's like bulwark pattern around you Let's see we go into a dungeon. I don't know. Let's take a shatters. Why not? Okay So you can see I do a lot of base damage and these spirits around the assassin Let's see 
The dagger seems to do a lot of damage. I know this is just like no HP scaled minions, but the main bullets do a lot of damage and um, the other bullets around does quite a lot of damage. Some are doing 95, 156, 169. So they do uh, vary on what damage they do. You see there? Let's kill it with... Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess we can try to stand in something. Okay. This was not a good idea. Let's see. Uh, do we have something we can stand in? No. I mean, we did a lot of damage. Okay, so I died with the assassin there, but the leather hide armor, uh, when shooting, reduces speed by 25. On ability use, 45 MP cost to summon a controllable friendly spirit, which curses enemies. The spirit synergizes in the presence of other spirits. As the uh, uh, robe, we don't know what that means exactly. On equip, 15 defense and 15 speed. So you do get uh, a little bit less speed while having this on. But you can control a curse um, spirit that curses enemies. And it's pretty nice, I guess. I'm a little bit sad that it does curse. I think that a new debuff to enemies would be nice to be introduced with this update. Because I think curse is just going away from the mystic. And I think the mystic should be one of the only classes that can curse. So there's actually a demand for that class. Okay, I'm very hyped about the drums, and here are the Taiko drums. Tempo change. Control the rhythm of the drums to match the situation. What the fuck is this? Ability 1. Calm. Current. Tranquil rhythm. Lowers your shot speed, but boosts your effective weapon range. Party effect within 6 squares. Plus 2. Max HP by 145. So, plus 200 HP um, on the Wiz modifier. Party effect within healing. Okay. Can we see? Okay, I'm not sure what it says there. It says ability two and friend sized, and nothing more. Gives five defense and five dexterity. Uh, well, I'm not sure what this really does. <gasps> oh. Okay, I'm doing something with the shift. Why did why did we not? Now I do berserk. What is this? What is this? Okay. Oh my god, it's two... It's two items in one. This is so cool. Why didn't it cha say shift? Okay, so now we have the ability two. Uh, doubles your shot speed, boosting effective weapon range, 8 dexterity for 5 seconds, effect on self berserk. Okay, so it turns into a DPS item. And then the normal one is uh, more of a defensive one. Okay. I kind of, yeah, okay. So you get lower speed, but you get plus ish 200 HP and healing. And then you can shift it and it gives berserk and gives you a lot of dexterity which is pretty cool let's see how much dexterity it gives plus 13 dexterity plus 8 dexterity right yeah it says that double your shot speed boosting your effective yeah. okay okay i like this i like this a weapon that you can change what it is it would be nice to have an indicator here in the corner or something which one you have because in a big fight you, i think you really want to know which one you have if you have the defensive one or the offensive one here we have the rainmaker uh it's pretty basic while key held and shooting rain falls three tiles away from the direction of your cursor so this is just like a big area that does damage on equip 80 mp 5 dexterity uh, cooldown 5 seconds and you have to shoot to have this working so now when i press spacebar it starts to rain so you just do massive damage in front of you uh so it's pretty interesting but you gotta be pretty close uh it's very close to your character but you see all these like 
splashes on the ground it's where the damage does and the damage is 200 to 300 armor piercing damage scaling with your attack and status effect so if you have more attack and more uh, buffs for example the damage on the ability uh, is increased which is pretty nice so yeah it's an interesting item but it's very situational i think because you've got to be shooting and hold it in so you've got to be aware like every time you use it but you can do a lot of damage in an area close to your character when held your key and shooting okay now on the kensei we have the elegant parasol and the sages wakabiki and let's take a look on the sages wakabiki first on ability use mp 40 mp to summon a controllable friendly spirit which uh, which impedes enemy movement the spirit synergizes in the presence of other spirits cooldown 6 seconds 20 defense 15 vitality 15 wisdom what's impede i'm not sure let's find out in a dungeon okay let's see it slows is that everything it slows okay we're taking a look on this item now the wak wakasashi no the sheath sorry very nice okay the Sheath is called the Elegant Parasol. The damage is 350 to 450. Um, you can see all the text here. So it's a, uh, called forth a line of diverging projectiles that paralyzes enemies. So the, the bullets paralyze. And the multiplier is to your vitality. Uh, and um, then on equip you get 8 attack and 8 vitality. Which is pretty nice with the extra 8 vitality here. Uh, 150 MP cost, a little bit expensive, but sheaths are pretty OP when it co comes to MP cost, and the cooldown is 5 seconds, and it looks like this. So there's four different shot patterns, so we have like the four, yeah, this is seasons, whatever. Uh, it looks really cool, uh, and you can see in that shadow footage I was pretty OP to those enemies, but we can try it again. Uh, when you know what it does Okay in here, let's see boom boom We do a lot of damage It's a lot of damage uh, It's a lot of damage. I really like this wakasashi like I like it on a on a fast-moving target It's probably not that easy to control but uh, other, other than that, I like it. Let's see if we can fi maybe find the idol or something. Uh, it shreds everything like in between. Uh, yeah, me like this. Me, me, me like. It's a little bit slow to come out, but uh, a stationary enemy, pretty, pretty nice. Um, yeah. Okay, trying the Fortitude, it's a buffed bulwark, uh, it's so much better, and you'll see here. Uh, okay, so, sh shoots multiple bullets, you see all the different bullets, uh, 8 XP bonus, so you can 1, 2, 3, and then they linger around. So you can shoot them, and move around. This is really cool. Because Bulwark's problem is that it takes a long while to spawn them out to the different areas. But with this one, you can 1, 2, 3, change one and then do damage. And those bullets bullets linger around. So it creates, like, just a big area. It's very slow of shooting. So I think there's, like, a time limit. I'm not sure what the cooldown is for it. But you can only do three at a time. And then you gotta... Uh, change stuff or wand I mean and those were all the items I really like the bulwark I think the, uh, like the buffed bulwark fortitude I think it has some option for really nice gameplay and I just like the idea that they upgrade old UTs and make them a little bit better because then they don't have to come up with a new UT idea they can just make one that's already there and a little bit unique even more unique and better so I, I i am looking forward to this update hitting the production and i think that moonlight village it's a fun dungeon it's pretty hard 
It's not as beginner level as people might have thought, but I like it somehow and hopefully it's gonna be somewhat what it is now on production. I could see some of the faces being changed a little bit, but if you want to see the full Moonlight Village footage, you check out the video that's recommended here after the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye bye.